Hi everyone, my name is Billy, and today I'm going to be your karate teacher. Now I have a really fun lesson planned for us today. We're going to work on some cool punches and kicks, and if you stick around to the end of the lesson, I have a fun game for you. Before we get started, make sure that you have plenty of space to practice. It's really important that we don't hit or break anything when we train. It's also really important that if we are practicing with someone else, so we give them plenty of space so we don't hit them by accident. Remember, karate is all about making yourself healthier mentally and physically, and learning to protect yourself. It's not about hurting others. So I want you to promise that you will use what you learned today only to protect yourself and those around you and not to hurt or hit anyone. Okay everyone, let's get started with the warm up. Hands behind the back, resting position, position of attention, and bow. Let's start by jogging in place. Get those hands up. This time get your knees up as high as you can. Up in front of the body. Good, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, put one foot forward. Take your back leg and swing it up as high as you can. Let's do five on each side. Three. Four, five, switch feet. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Quick review when we worked on last time. Put your feet apart, put one hand out, and basic punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you flip the hand over as you punch. Eight, nine, ten. Put one hand up, high block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down, middle block. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Low block. One, two, three, four. Five, six, awesome job guys. Put one foot forward, hands up. Double punch combo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet, hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, take a deep breath. Whew. Okay, everyone, I want to teach you how to do a front kick today. Now, from the side point of view, the kick's going to look like this. I'm going to bring my leg up, extend my foot forward, bring it back, and then put it down. And for today, when I kick, I'm going to be thinking about hitting with the ball of my foot. So again, from this point of view here, I'm going to keep my hands in front, lift my foot up, Extend my leg out, bring it back, and place it down. It's going to come up, out, back, and down. Let's face each other. Let's put our left foot forward, and with four counts, let's work on this kick. Kicking with the right leg first. Hands up. Bring your foot up. Extend your leg out. Bring it back, and put it down. Up, out, back, and down. Up, out, back, and down. One, two, three, and four. Switch feet. Left leg now. Lift it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Switch feet again. Let's do it with one count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Nice, switch feet, hands up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you can do this front kick to different parts of the body. You can aim for the lower rib, you can aim a little higher up to the head. In fact, let's do this kick at different heights. So I'm gonna kick low, then I'm gonna kick a little higher, 
and then I'm gonna kick as high as I can. Let's do that together. Ready? Hands up, left foot forward, right leg kicking. Low, middle, high. Again, low, middle, high. One more time. Low, middle, and high. Nice job, switch feet. Hands up, low, middle, high, low, middle, high, low, middle, and high. Awesome job, guys. High five. Next, let's take the two punch combination we worked on earlier and add our front kick onto that. So we're going to do two punches and then we're going to do our front kick. Left foot forward, hands up. Ready? Punch, kick, punch, kick, punch, kick, punch, and kick. Good job. Switch feet. Hands up. Punch, kick, punch, kick, punch, kick, punch, and kick. Okay, one more round. After each kick, we're going to switch our feet as fast as we can. Together, hands up, punch, kick, switch feet. Punch, kick, switch feet. Punch, kick, switch feet. Punch, kick, and switch. Okay, everyone, awesome work. Let's do some pad work next. First, I need my pads. There they are. Okay. We're going to do two punches, and when I put the pad down like this, I want you to do a front kick. Put your hands up. Ready? Black. Red. Kick. Again. Black. Red. Kick. Again. Black. Red. Kick. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to test your focus. I'm going to call red or black, and I want to see how fast you can punch to the correct pad. And I'm going to put the pad down here for the kick, and you can kick with either leg for this. Put your hands up. Ready? Red. Black. Kick. Nice job. Black. Black. Red. Black. Red. Kick. Good. Now I'm going to try to swing like this. If I do that, duck. If I swing low, I want you to jump. Ready? Red. Red. Duck. Duck. Jump. Kick. Good job. Black. 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 Red, red, black, jump, duck, kick, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Nice job, guys. High ten. Great work, everyone. Let's have a seat. You know, I think one of the most important things we can learn practicing karate is respect. I think the easiest way to describe what respect is, is to treat other people how you would like to be treated. There are a lot of ways you can show respect. For instance, you can show respect for someone by not interrupting them when they're talking. You can also show respect by being kind to someone. You can even show respect for someone by listening to their point of view, even when you may not agree with it. It might sound weird, but it's also important to remember to also show respect for yourself. By this I mean, do things that'll keep your mind and body healthy and strong. For instance, you can eat healthy foods, get plenty of exercise, and get plenty of sleep. That's showing respect for your body. It's also important to keep a positive attitude and not be too hard on yourself when you make a mistake. Those are both good ways to show respect for yourself mentally. Okay, everyone. If you're ready, let's stand up and do our next exercise. For our end of class drill, let's play a game called Red Light, Green Light. What I want you guys to do is whenever I say green light, take any of the moves we've learned so far. It can be your punches, your blocks, or your kick. And I want you guys to do them however you want. Throw them in the air, any combination of movements you want to do. Blocking, punching, blocking, kicking, punching, kicking and keep going until I say red light. When I say red light, I want you guys to stand perfectly still without moving. Now I'm gonna try to trick you. I may say green light and then say green light again. 
and if you stop moving, you're out. So if you, if you get out, I want you to drop down, do two push-ups, and then jump back up into the game. Okay, let's get started. Resting position, position of attention, and bow. Ready, set, green light. Start moving around, doing techniques, and red light. Good, nice focus. Green light, good, keep moving. Throw those kicks in there, throw your blocks, throw your punches, and red light. Good, green light, boom, boom, boom. Keep moving around, keep throwing those techniques, and green light. Oh, I said green light. If you stop moving, drop down, do two push-ups, and jump back up. Let's keep going. Red light. Green light. Good. Red light. Red light. Oh, did you move? Drop down, two push-ups. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Red light. Oh, did I get you? Green light. Green light. Oh, keep focused. Red light. Green light. And stop. Nice job, guys. High five. Okay, guys, let's have a seat. We're gonna finish today with a quick cool down stretch. What I want you to do is put your feet out in front and reach forward as far as you can. You don't have to touch your toes, but I want you to work on reaching as close to them as possible. Reach out. Good, we're gonna hold this for five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's put one foot out to the side, tuck the other foot into your leg, and reach out to this leg. Again, hold it for five seconds. Four, three. Try to go down as low as you can. Two, and one. Switch feet. One leg out, foot tucked in, reach out. Chest down towards your leg as far as you can. Hold that, and good. Put your feet together in a butterfly stretch. Now for this stretch here, I want you to pull your feet in as close to your body as you can and get your knees as close to the floor as possible. Good, head down towards your toes and hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more time, quick review. Feet out in front, reach out towards your toes, hold it, good. One foot out to the side, reach out, hold it. Switch feet fast, other way. Reach out, hold it. And bring your feet in and get your nose to your toes, head down. And good, nice job guys. Let's stand up as fast as we can into resting position. Thank you guys for your amazing hard work today. Join me next time when I teach you how to do a jumping front kick. Until then, train hard, train smart, have fun. I'll see you guys soon.